doing our grappling flow drill number three. This is uh, for our black belt requirements, and this is based off escaping the side control. There are three of them, okay? So number one is grinding everything in a side control. So what I want to do is I want to create frames. So one crossing the neck, and the other one's going to be inside of his arm, so he can't get head control. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink my butt away enough that I can get my body knee across to, his, to my hand and to his opposite shoulder. When I get to this position, I'm going to try and get my outside leg over and over his, my heel over his shoulder. Okay, so from this position, I'm going to be hamstring curling down, and then I'm going to rotate my hips through so I can pull my leg out. Once that happens, I switch over and cross my legs. From here, I raise my hips, elevating, pushing his arm across, grabbing my shin, creating space, and then changing the angle to triangle, and then digging for the arm to finish the choke or arm bar or all these other different core submissions. Okay, so one more time on number one. Creating a frame, shrimping, getting my bottom knee across him and I. Once I get to here, my top leg goes over the shoulder. From here, I elevate my hips so I can pull my leg through. Cross my foot, feet exceedingly pull his arm across. Grab my shin, don't let go of the shin, and then I'm gonna start using this foot on the hip or the floor to start adjusting and changing the angle to cross or cross my legs or target my legs. Finish the choke, the arm bar, or all the other submissions. Number one. Number two, same idea as I'm framing. When I go to shrimp out, I'm going to dig my top arm for an underhook. From here, I use my top leg to come up and get up in my elbow with good head position. I'm going to build from my elbow to my knees, and then from here, I'm going to base my hand and I'm going to shuck the arm off. I'm going to build up and get a seatbelt grip. My bottom knee is going to wedge in, and I'm going to fall. Now, from here, my bottom knee is going to turn, so now I can get my bottom hook in. Once I get the bottom hook in, I want to get my top hook in, but I'm going to strip my butt away a little bit so I can throw the second hook in. From here, Brent doesn't like that, so he knows I'm going to go for the choke, so he's defending my bottom hand. It's going to push the watch, shoot my arm in deep so my elbow's in line with his chin, pull my arm back, and then rear naked choke this direction, or gable grip behind the shoulder and choke in this direction. So number two again. From side control, create a frame, shrimp my butt away, use my top knee if you want to get the underhook and then kind of build up on my elbow, then my knee with good head position. From here, I just rotate my shoulder, throwing his arm off, getting a top seatbelt grip. Bottom knee wedges in and I fall. From here, what I'm gonna do is turn my knees up, that opens his hips to allow me to get my bottom hook in. From here, I shrimp and get my second hook in. He's gonna start fighting for the choke. I defend by pushing the watch, inserting deep grip, pull my arm, rear naked choke, or gable grip, rear naked choke. That's number two. Number three. Same as number two as I'm framing, <clears throat> I shrimp my butt away, and as I go for the underhook, Brent does a thing called an overhook or a wizard, so he can't, you know, I can't go out that way anymore. If I keep going, I'm gonna dislocate my arm or break my shoulder. So from here, I'm gonna build up my elbow, Keep my head under his chin, face on the hand, and slide my bottom knee across to his other knee. From here, my top foot's gonna swivel in, called butterfly hook, or butterfly guard, excuse me. My head's gonna stay on the opposite side. I'm gonna trap the elbow, I'm gonna fall on my shoulder, doing a thing called an elevator sweep. From here, I could go to mount, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over, and go to side control, and then switch to knee on belly. When I go knee on belly, my knee here, my foot putting pressure. Brent doesn't like that, he's gonna try to push, go ahead and switch your away. He just wants to get my knee off, that's his goal. So as he does that, I dig an underhook, I grab his head, I stuff his head, my foot goes to his back. So if you want to touch his leg, you can. Make sure your shin stays under his back. Both knees are up to 12 o'clock. Pinch your knees, heels to your butt, grab the pad of the thumb, and break. You having a hard time with this? Go over the top. That's number three. One more time, that last one. Side control, shrimp my butt away. I'm going for the underhook, but he's savvy, he's a wizard. A lot of wrestlers would do this. So, a good counter, change the angle. Hip, foot inside. Bring your head to the closest to the mat side. Grab below the elbow, pull it in close, and lift. Connection, elevator sweep. Turn your knee to the inside, pivot off. From here, I'm gonna hit my points or I'm gonna punch him in the face. He doesn't like that he shrinks, so I underhook. Elbow, form on his chest. Don't go too deep. Pull him tight. Bring your foot, not your knee, your foot, and pivot. I got him. Grab and break. Even better. So those are the three from uh, our uh, uh, ground uh, flow drill number three.
Okay, side control escapes. 